Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited to be here today talking about Miss Taylor Swift as her new album dropped. I know, as me, also my fiance Sarah, we're, as we're wearing our Taylor Swift merch, and Alex shows up in his fucking sweater. Let's go. But I'm very excited to be here uh, today to talk about Taylor Swift. If she'll, she holds a special spot in all of our hearts. Before we dive in, why don't we do a quick round of introductions? Jason, you go first. Come with me. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jason, and I am engaged and soon to be married to the lovely Stassi J. Sims 4. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I love uh, Taylor Swift second to only her means a lot wow. i think that's the first time i've ranked taylor swift not number one out loud wow she's she's, Damn. Well, she's never been ranked never what mm -hmm. that is love that's love. dedication okay. i will be the, together forever a hundred percent i have the best story so when i used to stay at his house before we moved in together he had this giant taylor swift billboard and I would like wake up and she'd be staring at yeah, me. Yeah, it was kind of like a store ad thing for Diet Coke. Um, giant, it's like three feet, but like it's it's pretty big for like a an outline of a person. And it was in close proximity to the bed due to it being a small room. So I guess it was nervous. Like, um, like why also... is Taylor staring at me? <laughs> Also, I'm why also is this like in the, the past? Parallels, guys, I'm just realizing Stassi has like really long curly hair, beautiful blue eyes, um, heart shaped face. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just Taylor. Sl I know, I know, right? I, I, I appreciate Alex saying, "Is this in the past?" Well, we. Because where's the cutout? Just... Why'd you get rid of it? We yeah, did it. It's at his parents' house. house. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my okay, goodness. Good. I have to come to the wedding. Bit. Yeah, she's like, get rid of it. I'm like, okay. So I just moved Make it to the its wedding. location. Or she could be a bridesmaid. <laughs> Please Please bride. do. She'll actually come visit you after you have her as your bridesmaid. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> there you go. We just have. We invited Taylor. We invited Taylor Swift as a bridesmaid. Uh, That's fine. Exactly. It's the outline. It's a Diet Coke ad outline. <laughs> she's I'd be really Coke. concerned, though, Stoss. You might leave with her. So. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's it's the whole um I bet you're thinking about me music video going down. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So speak now at at our wedding. I'll be like, it can talk. <laughs> it ruined the cake. It ruined the cake. <laughs> anyway, Jason, welcome. Thank you for coming back here today. Alex, welcome back. Come in <laughs> for Disney Sims and Nard Villains Crown, which I appreciate. Trying, trying. Bye. Um, for anyone's first podcast, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, I am Alex or the Awful Gamer. Uh, normally do sim stuff, but like above that, Taylor Swift, Swifty for life. So if you combine the two, I'm happy. I mean, you literally created a, a legacy challenge using the Midnight's album. I did. I did. I, there was no way I was not going to have you on this podcast. I would have moved heaven and earth to make sure all three y'all were here um but alex thank you so much for coming miss juby welcome back oh hi nice to see you again <laughs> nice to see you for anyone for the first podcast why don't you tell us a little about yourself um my name is juby online i go by juby sims and much like alex i do a lot of the sims things but same thing in my off time swifty full-time and full-time student so a little bit of both <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i appreciate that uh Miss Miss Baby Girl Corner Disney Sims, welcome back, baby, for the seventeenth time. Also, um, <laughs> I'm Court, aka the Disney Sims, and yeah, longtime simmer, uh, longtime Swifty as well. I'm not as much of a diehard. I'm really just on here because I don't want Alex to beat me uh, for <laughs> being on podcasts. So I just join every podcast that they're on. So uh, just kidding. No, I actually love Taylor Swift. I've been a diehard since uh, her first album and really excited to talk about her and talk about Speak Now. Oh my goodness. Welcome back uh but last but not least sierra welcome back technically Hello. this is your second podcast with me technically yes technically yes 
Uh, Sierra is my best friend and maid of honor and the hugest Swifty, biggest, first biggest Swifty I've ever met. Sierra, why don't you yeah. tell us a little about yourself? Uh, I am a huge Swifty. I have also been a fan of hers since she first came out. So that's more than half my life. Wow. And uh, I also have a, a dog. His name is Zuko. Thing. He'll probably be making some cameos in the background, so Pro- just excuse. Me. Probably, I mean, this is only audio, so no one can gr- no one can be graced with Zuko. But what type of dog is? Uh, he- he's a very large standard poodle. Very large. Yeah, he's very loud. So even without video, you'll still be able to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, okay. Well, let's dive in. We're here to talk about Taylor Swift. Um, what? Okay. Do you guys remember? Like the first time you heard a Taylor Swift song, like what song was it? What moment did it take it back to you? Sierra, you raised your hand before anybody else could start or <laughs> me finishing the question. <laughs> it's a core memory for me. Okay, I want to hear this. I want to hear this core memory. So I was 14 and my little cousin was two and her mom was driving. We were in their truck. Which and cousin? Our son- Which hey. cousin? Paige? Well, I thought it could have been Mila. No. Mila's not old enough. It was Paige. Um, yeah, and I just remember it like it was yesterday. There you go. It's core memory. I like that. Disney Sims, how about you? First Taylor Swift song, first moment. What stuck with you? I, I think it was um when you think Tim McGraw, and yeah, I was probably thinking of my on and off again boyfriend at that time because every single Taylor Swift song was about him. Uh, so that was one. One of my core memories though, oh, it irks me. So mm-hmm. my, like one of my like boyfriends, like that boyfriend, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like the one that you never should have been with sort yes. of situation. That one got together with a new girl and they sang You Belong With Me and I was supposed to be the other girl in their song at that time and that pissed me off because I was like, you are not the Taylor Swift in this situation. And yeah, there was a core memory. So I can't even listen to that. And I love that song. I was like, that would destroy the song. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, You Belong With Me. Apparently I'm the cheer captain. And I'm not a cheer captain. I'm a drama nerd. Like she was a cheer captain. Like this is not how it was meant to be. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> they weren't true Swifties. They weren't true Swifties. Mm-hmm. No, they weren't. Like, yeah. <laughs> they, didn't get, they, just, they didn't get it. They were just doing it because it was a song at the time. It yeah. was. Yeah, exactly. Um, JB, how about you? Core Taylor Swift memory moment. Okay. I was with my best friend who lived down the street. Her name is Chelsea. Um, and we were sitting in her bedroom floor and we're sitting there and she had the Taylor Swift debut CD. And I, at the time, I just refused to like country music. Like it would happen. And I'd be like, no, 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 we're not listening to it. It's done. And so she said to me, she's like, no, you need to listen to this. Like, I don't even know. I think we were like eight or nine years old. And she was like, no, 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 you literally do need to hear this. And I'm like, okay, fine. So we listened to it on her bedroom floor and we just like laid there and we talked about it and when <laughs> when our song came on I like I kid you not at that moment I was like oh shit I'm like this is it for me I'm oh. like this is it <laughs> and then oh. we used to have like these websites that you could make they were called pixo um yeah and, yeah okay good mm-hmm. <laughs> and I literally my opening song to the site was always our song and it always had like every single page always had the music video playing and it, that whole song for me, when I see it, it's just a whole core memory in itself. <laughs> that video, that music video is gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That dress. Uh. It's so pretty. It's like literally like whenever I, I think Taylor uh. Swift, I'm like, that is the song I think of. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alex, how about you? Um, so I grew up in the country. So country music was very prevalent. So I definitely heard Taylor like throughout the radio or stuff like that. Like Tim McGraw is definitely the first song that sticks out. But like the core memory was seeing her at the Country Music Awards coming up and introducing herself to Tim McGraw while singing him to McGraw. I was like, I wish I had that confidence that, you know, 
yeah. that age and then just everything after that was like I love it I love it I love it I love it like it just didn't stop <laughs> exactly she just keeps getting better mm-hmm. yeah. yeah oh I agree every album is better than the last yeah with without a doubt oh I, they're like, all good. I like Jason's Uh-oh. face oh okay I um, also feel that way about a certain album so I get it <laughs> oh oh no we're frozen oh yep. I, our camera's been my camp my zoom camera's been wonky the last little bit when I've been doing zoom calls we'll see nope we can't we don't have camera for the rest of me and me and Jason don't have camera for this okay Aww. I know we'll survive well I think we'll figure it out Jason how about you what was your there's a Taylor Swift example though <laughs> look at her Taylor Swift like- poor memory I definitely started listening and it was right around the time that Speak Now came out a little bit before that. So I was like, I listened to Fearless was the first one where I was like, oh my God, this album is magical. Every every part of this. Um, I just really liked her. Oh, let's see if we get the webcam back on. Uh, first really liked her voice and how like she, you know used it in songs really well and thought she sang pretty and the music was just really good had some like good messages and stuff and um i then actually used you belong with me as a part of a i think it's the third one as part of a uh oh do we lose you completely no we're here Uh, oh okay Oh, no, nope. it's not that one. It's, it's not that one. That's okay. Sorry, Jason, please continue on. Oh, no worries. Um, ah. We're back. So I used it as a part of an application to a program that was like pretty important to me where I had to meet new people. Um, Like in meeting everyone new, you're supposed to do a bit of a like basically three to five minute, essentially like talent show kind of thing. So I do not sing at all, but I rewrote all of You Belong With Me to You Belong OC, which said for off campus, which was like the part of the university team that I was trying to join, sang an entire song about like, you know, like basically about how the actual song goes through, like all the reasons that like, you know, how she doesn't really fit, but I do this. I kind of did that with the other residences and said, you belong OC. And like, I made myself a shirt that called myself J Swift. So like, <laughs> I love it so um, much. Actually <laughs> made it onto that like volunteer team, which ended up making a lot of like my best mm-hmm. friends to this day. So like a very key huh. turning point in life is when I utilized my favorite song at the time, you belong with me. And like, just kind of made people laugh in like an icebreaker, getting to know you situation. And uh, yeah, and they thought it was uh, pretty funny and weird. And again, I didn't really sing through it as more me like the, the, the like reading out loud the lyrics I wrote, but they're like, oh, that's pretty. To funny. the tune. Yeah. 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 To the tune. Yeah, I don't undersell the, yourself. <laughs> like the instrumental uh, version on like a lot. La- before you really had a lot of smaller handheld technology and I didn't trust my phone. So I think I probably played it off my phone, but like I had a laptop or something just being like, you know, playing instrumental and they're like, Oh, clearly this is Taylor Swift. And then just start talking about like how um, you can still enjoy the university experience being off campus, which is again, the team I was helping out versus living on residence, um, which a lot of people. Oh, nice. at school. Yes. That's so wholesome and adorable. I love it. <laughs> Right, I think that story like on our second or third day, and I was like, "Oh, I have to keep this one." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he remixes Taylor Swift. He remixes Taylor Swift and knows how to the theme song to Sailor Moon. He can't let this one go. And it probably yeah. was not as cringy as the Enchanted remix. Oh. <laughs> I will call him out. <laughs> <laughs> Owl City. That was a that was a time in history. Hmm. Oh yeah. Um, the only Taylor Swift moment I think for me, so I wasn't a huge Swifty growing up. I mean, I listened to the radio bait Taylor Swift songs. I mean, they were on the radio. Um, but the moment that sticks out to me is I had my first iPod, and it's when we had like the iTunes store. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart to get a whatever the smallest amount of iTunes gift card that I could get, so I could buy 
Love Story for my iPod. The first song I ever bought on iTunes is Love Story. My house didn't have Wi-Fi, but my neighbors did. So I stood up on my bed, which both you guys have been in my childhood room, the top is corner to steal my neighbor's Wi-Fi for 40 <laughs> minutes, holding it so I could get a love story. And I played that shit on repeat for weeks after. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. Dedication. Yeah, 100%. I was like, this song is so good. I, I've always been like romantic, right? So I was like, oh my God, like. Oh, I loved that album. It's like the trust, the hair of the song. Like, like, I, was like, I loved it, right? It's still to this day, every, it's still on my iTunes. I, if I want a Taylor Swift song and Spotify is not working, mm-hmm. I can listen to Love Story because it's like I open it. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that's awesome. I think it's interesting. Everybody had a different story of what mm-hmm. Taylor Swift with means to them. Uh, there were a lot of people that wanted to join this podcast today, but because I filmed these at night on the weekday and it's midnight in the UK, um, a lot of people messaged me being like, I, I like, I listened, I listened to Taylor Swift for like the first time at like a school dance with like my, my now husband. And it just meant so much to mm-hmm. me. It's so interesting to see like how one artist can touch so many people's lives with so many different genres um of music now <laughs> hi Zuko um I do appreciate um how she is she is to me is the renaissance an artist she takes yes she can change a drop of a dime she is not the same thing like if I listen to um let's say like I don't know it's, it's a generic artist I'm like I'm like oh this is them but I can't pinpoint what album it's on it could be one of six right but if I yeah. listen to a red album I know it's red or mm-hmm. uh 1989 oh. or more poppy or if it's you know more EDM or I'm mad at the world obviously reputation like they're they, everyone has a mood out of curiosity obviously the albums change throughout the years but what Taylor Swift album right now is your go-to? I want to listen. Oh, I to it makes me feel better. Ooh, feel better or just feel something? Feel yeah. something. Yeah, that's a good, <laughs> good question. Would be good either. Thing. And anybody can go first. Um, okay, I think I've been in my reputation era since I kid you not February. Okay. It's to the point where like I do those like weekly or monthly like Spotify receiptify things and it tells me how often I'm listening to it. Half the time it's the entire album that I've just listened to on repeat and like I'm one of those people that can't shuffle albums. I have to like listen back to front kind of thing. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Something happened in February and ever since then I have been full reputation mode have not left that area <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that I know reputation got huge flack when it came out I love reputation I rank it more higher than 1989 in my personal opinion I like oh my god seeing Sierra's face there just <laughs> made my day I can't help it uh, I know I was born in 1989 so like yeah that uh I did love that album <laughs> I don't know. There was just something about it being moody. It was the first time like, it was like seeing a teenage Taylor Swift rebelling. I love yeah. it. I listen to more of Repu- like, reputation songs than I do 1989 um, and Fearless and Lover um, more frequently. So, oh, it's something true. about like, I did something bad. Yes. It's a song that I want to listen to. Like when I am angry it is the song that I listen to because it's like when I'm like building a castle and I'm like feeling edgy that is the song I'm probably sitting there building the castle to because I'm like angry about something in the world and I don't know how to like get it out so it's like a creative outlet and a song that tells you the words that I think you're probably internalizing Mm -hmm. that's like when I listen to that song that is what it means see I like I like getaway car or I think it's delicate yeah yeah and um are you ready for it oh, I anytime that. i'm about to go into a meeting oh fuck are you ready for it goes right are you ready for yeah. it like, let's go i played that before my lab classes this semester when i was like walking into like the like lab tech room like i'd always had reputation it was like a stats class so i just put my headphones in i'd be like okay boo boo but it was a whole thing 
Oh. Mine, for, mine for reputation is this is why we can't have nice things, which yeah. is like yes. the the song that I feel like is the most underrated just across most of like yes. the reputation side of the switch. But God, something about it just hits different. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Facts. I had to. I, I had know. To. I, pre- <laughs> I appreciate Alex. How about you? What, what uh, era are you in right now in Taylor Swift? Honestly, I would probably say I'm in my Midnight's era. Okay. which I know it's the most recent, but I love her ability to tie stories together or like use mm-hmm. lyrics. So the fact that every song is a callback, just like it, it feeds my soul in a way that I can't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Disney Sim, how about you? What era are you in right now? Uh, 1989 still. I feel like I've in the last few years, I've had a lot of like, maybe I'm because I'm setting boundaries I've had people in my life that are like you know what I mean like upset by that in some way because they used to get a lot out of me and so listening to bad blood is like yeah like band-aids don't fix bullet holes sorry like it's just a way to remind myself that like I keep my distance for a reason I got you um yeah I was I really like 1989. I mean, I, I I do like Reputation more. There's only a handful of songs from 1989 that get me. I just listened to the album on repeat last week at work because everyone at work just like like we only have like the oldies new what, radio station at work, and then the radio is broken, and because the internet's awful, we're all kind of dispersed trying to like basically hotspot off each other's phones. So I was listening to 1989 and like um I know places new romantics uh this love Taylor version though um and um the song I always quote in Rose Chronicles all the time um it's the ones like you can hear it in the silence I think it's uh, oh you're you're in in love love. you're in love yeah Uh, yeah 100% those are like my top I'm like my top four songs or five songs from that album Uh, oh and obviously Wild Streams not Wonderland at all <laughs> I like out of the woods okay I I just I feel like that could be it's the a best little too drinking. repetitive it's a drinking game every Ooh. time she says <laughs> out of the woods take yeah a shot. Take a oh shot. I'm on the floor <laughs> <laughs> no that would be actually look what you made me do I was listening mm. to it with Amy because I was talking about how um, I'm sure you've all seen the the reel where she's trying to learn the choreography and she's like, I've just, it's my own fault. I wore up the words. It just was the same thing over and over again. I actually counted out. And at one point she says, look what you made me do 17 times in a row. In oh, a wow. Row? Just in one part. Just in one part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought Willow with her saying that's my man 13 oh. times was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Sierra, what era are you in right now? I'm curious. I have an answer I think you're in, but I want to see if I'm right. Uh, Folklore currently. Well, folklore folklore for a while. Since it came out pretty much. But I'm all over the place, really. Yeah. Okay. I'll see. (laughs) Sorry, Jason's also Googling. (laughs) I'll see your face. (laughs) It was just like, what? No, that's... (laughs) I, <laughs> you're like it's not it's not acceptable no i didn't i didn't expect sorry you to i did i thought i had my phone so instead of googling something i'm also using the thing we're recording on continue that's fine um <laughs> i didn't think you were gonna say folklore i know you've been listening to it more and we've had good debates because i'm more evermore and you're more folklore mm-hmm. i would have thought you would have said red i thought i thought you Oh, don't give me that face. Why red? That's how you can tell you're really best friends is because <laughs> you're like, here's what you actually are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, red. Okay, so yeah, so Sierra's actual answer is this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, just, really, I don't know. I just thought you were kind of more in like, you've really become really more established. You become one of your own. I don't know. I just figured you're more in your red era. Yeah, my friend is here. Then you're folklore. The reason, no, but red doesn't have the best memories for me though. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. I know it, it makes does. me sad. I know it does. But although it was the first tour that I went to see. I know. So, I know. But I just, I just aside think- from that. That's what I listen to when I need to cry. That's fair. 
Retweet. Uh. <laughs> my, my husband and I got together in the red era. And so, um, oh, oh my God. Um, wow. Um, I can't think of the name of the song right now. I can't believe I'm doing this. The two headlights shine in the sleepless night and I will get you, I'll get you along. Contrast. Yeah. There we go. Treacherous. <laughs> treacherous. Thank you. I couldn't, I can't even say the word right now, man. Sorry. Um, anyway. Yeah. Like that song was so great because we were long distance. And so that song uh, was like so awesome for, for me. Yeah. And I love song? state of grace too. Yeah. Okay. Treacherous is like my favorite song as a geography student, because it's like this slope is treacherous and it talks about <laughs> the curved slope. And like, it's like, it's a really good song. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> that was like the nerdiest, cutest thing. Yeah, I, that's like yeah, that's, like, that's so cute. I think about uh, it frequently. I'm glad I get to share it with somebody finally. <laughs> Jason, how about you? What era are you in right now? Again, had to Google the the 28 words in the title, but we got folklore, the long punk studio sessions live album. So I'd say folklore as well, but I, you know, I like to go to just the thing that I forget about that album is the first tracks are just still the regular album. So I'll listen to those and be like, it kind of sounds the same. And then it gets to the one again, that's the long part. Of, and I'm like, okay, yeah, oops. I do that more than I'd like to admit for uh, the, the album, like quite a bit. But yeah, but the thing with folklore is it's a feel like this about folklore and evermore where like there aren't really any songs that i go back to i can i can just kind of start the album or pick it up somewhere and just kind of listen to a few in a row with it being like not necessarily backgroundy kind of music but i guess yeah in a way so i just really like when uh when folklore came out because i think it was like a really cool direction even if it's a temporary one which i think fit well with like yeah we're tucked inside because of covid um and i think it fit really well and then when the yeah. disney plus special came out i'm like oh it's so good um so that is what i actually would be listening to now the most yeah, I would agree with that because in the car, it's the album that usually pops up if it's a Taylor Swift song that's being played. I've noticed with Apple Music is just like, oh, you've listened to this artist or this album once or twice, like, and then it starts hitting you with it a lot more. Because I switched maybe a year ago from Spotify, where, where it's a lot, it's in random a lot, I think, versus Apple Music. Like, you can tell what I probably listen to in my own time because yes. then it starts coming up in the shuffle constantly. So yes. that's probably got to be the one lately just before mm -hmm. that it was midnights because i did really dig midnights a lot too but oh, so good it's all good <laughs> i know what the next one's gonna be starting tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> all yeah. of us um, <laughs> i appreciate that answer um for me i would say i am a gb i'm in my reputation here. i'm in the i don't give a flying fuck phase of my life right now Good. like that is where I'm at I'm in my villain era at this point like I and I would also say a little midnight because I am definitely dressing for revenge I have lost a lot of weight in the last uh, month I'm, I'm more I'm actually walking in the out now with crop tops on for the first time comfortably in like two years like I am dressing for love you I'm not actually dressing for revenge <laughs> 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 revenge against the world lyric. it's a song lyric, against the world i am dressing for my revenge like i'm a revenge body because i'm still with you um um I'm <laughs> you can avenge like an old workplace or something 100 yeah. percent. yeah fuck fast science yeah, um, it's your fuck fast science fuck, body it's my fuck fast know. science body but i'm really much enjoying my this like literally sierra I, like our jokes like I don't, I, I know it's a Sophie Tucker, it's a wrong artist, but like, I don't give a fuck about they. It's literally my anthem right now of like, I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. So I, I do appreciate anything like reputation. I'm like, just Taylor, just that was in her, I don't give a fuck phase. You want to come Ugh. listen to me? Come fucking listen to me. You don't fuck off. Like, I just, I love, I love that. Um, and reputation was the first Taylor Swift concert I'd ever seen. So it was just, it was so cool to see this and be like, oh my God, whoever put this, the marketing team together for that was absolutely uh, incredible. And speaking of concerts, has everybody here seen Taylor Swift live? At least I have not. You have, have not. not. I'm no. so sad for you. I'm so, yes. What is it like watching her live? Is it like just 
You will never like, be the same. Out of yeah. body. No other concert you go to see will ever like be on the same planet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see, ever. I see. I love how yeah. our prime minister in Canada literally just sent a tweet to her. Her asking for her to come She's yeah like, like, it's me hi please come daddy trudeau <laughs> daddy if, if daddy trudeau can come up for that like let's go like yeah because like, like can make it happen that's so much money that our economy is missing out on for so many uh, yeah. hotels tickets everything right yeah. i would like to know what like ryan reynolds has said to her about it yeah, yeah. they're literally oh, best Canadian. <laughs> right um, I was talking. Like friends. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about, and a lot of people are not coming to Canada anymore because it's so expensive to tour here. Yeah, yeah. It is. I know. Hmm. It doesn't matter. She's never coming to where I am. <laughs> no, you'd you'd have to come out to Toronto. Yeah, for Toronto sure. Toronto would be your closest show, but for us, Toronto yeah. is like a couple hours away. Yeah, and then no. I would have to assume for Juby, there'd be a show closer to you. I would assume that she would come to Vancouver. I'd still have to travel to get there. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, but there is this whole thing going around, which does make sense, is that I like checked the stadium for BC Place and it's like literally three quarters of the size of where she's playing in the States right now. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same with like, like, Calgary, I- same with Winnipeg. And it's like, so it's interesting because if she were to come here, she would probably have to do several nights in each place just to be able to like reach the demographic that she probably wants to mm-hmm. that's fine she's doing like three nights in all these other places oh i know some places get six nights like come on i just want one <laughs> yeah. maybe she, yeah, maybe she'll exactly. do like a folklore evermore residency like what we all <gasps> thought that she'd probably do oh yeah. one day she'll get residency Pacific i hope Northwest, it'd be perfect for her <laughs> Oh, right. she she could get a residency like this if she if she so chose wanted to. Imagine if she did like a Vegas residency need to, though, but she could. She has another decade before that, at least. Yeah, I definitely, yeah. at least, at least. Exactly. I'm thinking more like 15. <laughs> yeah. 15. Because she's not done putting out albums. No, oh, yeah. exactly. I yeah. could see. Oh. I could see it after she has kids if she just if she decides to have kids and just kind of wants to be stable for like in a right. place to let her kids grow up without taking them on tour yeah but if she was doing it because kids and she wouldn't go she probably wouldn't be working at least not doing a residency no but i'm talking about your kids like you know like four four or five and she could just say here nanny take kid i'm going to go to work and then here kid back she could go home or kid kid. on tour your kid on kid on tour tour. could you imagine like a baby taylor like beyonce makes it work yeah Mm -hmm. that's true (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) um jason how about you what was your experience seeing taylor swift live amazing i saw the 19 i actually had an offer potential offer to go to uh red tour but i kind of couldn't find anyone to go with it was like four or five hours before so it would have been like like especially like everyone that was like in the early 20s like in school or just working like no one was just like yeah i'm available like in a few things like people would mostly apply especially when we lived in london so like on a weeknight as well we're talking maybe two and a half, three hours to get downtown kind of thing. Like, the, and I didn't have a car. So all those <laughs> reasons meant the actual first time I could go was the 1989 tour. Um, I think I'm wearing a shirt of that one that I bought, not at the tour itself, but afterwards, I think. And having a red tour shirt, which I did not go on. Um, <laughs> 1989, I was just like, yeah, it's all as I was in the the Roger Center, aka previously Skydome, uh, 500. So, like, aka the nosebleeds, but like, you still feel very close and in tune with everyone. You have these very cool, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, because other concerts have it, but like, you have these like light up bracelets that will like light up in time. She was one of the first ones to go. do that, though. Yeah, yeah. She was definitely, that was the first, I think, at that time that I had seen it or, or heard of it was that one. And then, like, it happens here or there, but only for like these super concerts. So I went with a few friends and we like had a very fun time. We got trapped in an elevator for about like 
12 to 15 minutes right no. before, which was terrifying that like it just it wasn't moving it was underground so our phones didn't work no. and it only freed up when someone on the outside hit it and it like went to their floor to let them on and we like went out being no. like, near pain yeah i mean that wasn't fun but we still got in on on uh on time but i think we uh I don't know who the opener was, but we definitely missed out on them because of that little mishap. Um, and then 1989 tour, I went with two of the very people on this call, as well as uh, another one of the bridesmaids. I know, I was what literally about to, to show, this? I was trying to show the photo. So I have, yeah, yeah, you can. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Huh. Us going to see. There we go. Because we can get that better. Oh my God. Kate. No. Oh, yeah, we got That's like so cute. Here. Yeah, literally. Yeah, we, I dressed them all up. I spent four <laughs> hours getting everybody ready. So Rachel, podcast friend, go listen to our podcast. She is the owner of Her Cliff Farms. And we talked about what it's like to be a farmer. I dressed her in a red, the red era. Uh, Sarah, I dressed you in fearless, didn't I? Uh, I don't remember. I was fearless. I'm pretty sure it was fearless. I was reputation, <laughs> and Jason was just Jason. Oh yeah, I was fearless. I was wearing my gold dress, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was. It, I, that was part of your birthday present. That like I got you like I nice. I, I got you all ready and I got you like accessories and stuff and did your hair and makeup. Did we not you. give me an album or was I just Jason? I think you were just Jason. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> At least she didn't dress you up like jake gyllenhaal or anything yeah, like I didn't, that like, I didn't, you, 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 you got like <laughs> acting like you're mad at me the whole concert yeah you should exactly. have a red scarf okay who do you think hurt her more jake gyllenhaal or john mayer oh, oh. i want to say jake gyllenhaal yeah jake gyllenhaal yes. got like an entire album and then some. yeah 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 but dear john is that is the song that is the crucifixion if ever there Yo, john best be praying for his soul tomorrow because swifties are coming for him i've seen so many like reels and like we're not supposed to though <laughs> yeah she told us to be nice she covered herself well she covered herself well by saying she, that just like yeah. <laughs> the queen she also, she, she also has like a much 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 larger following now than she did when Speak Now came out originally. So if he thought he had it bad before. People are going to be she... learning about John Mayer through the, be like, who's this? Yeah. It was some musician guy, Ew. like some old musician guy. We're going to be like, ah. Because <laughs> she didn't give the warning for Jake Gyllenhaal. No. no. Like she was just like Red Taylor's version, all too well, 10 minute version, have fun. <laughs> yeah. I refuse to believe that that woman wrote would have, could have, should have. Oh. Yeah. and isn't over it <laughs> like right after didn't she win it or didn't she write that right after winning the folklore grammy too yeah like you can't tell me to not be mad that we're not currently still mad at him when you told me that you literally wrote that what two years ago three years ago almost <laughs> like that to me is just like oh no we're not over it if i'm not over it then you're not over it <laughs> yeah. or it could be like healing through writing it like and, yeah. and re-recording yeah. it she could be healed but it definitely Fair. helps her yeah. Um, I do appreciate I, I don't know if you guys follow Terrell Lautner on uh, TikTok or Instagram. A fucking hilarious guy. Obviously married to also a girl named Taylor. Also Terrell yeah. Lautner. Um, because dear John, uh, back sorry, back to December is about Terrell Lautner. And he was like literally praying, being like, yo, I pray for John. He's about to get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> dear John, or not dear John, uh, back to, back December, to December, Taylor's version. In the like teaser clip that she posted, oh my god, I left my body. <laughs> I so okay. My boyfriend, um, I was sitting in the bedroom and he was sitting in the living room, and he basically knows I have like a Taylor Swift run apparently when things start happening because I like <laughs> ran out to the living room and he literally just goes, "What did she do now?" <laughs> <laughs> and it was like so we were just only partially through the video because I was like, "Oh my god, the thing came up!" Like I wanted to show it to him. And mm -hmm. Back to December hadn't even started playing. And I was like, just still mid freak out because the fact that we were just hearing like all the things. And yeah, so apparently when that happens, like any sort of news source, any sort of thing happens, I have a Taylor Swift run. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah. Um, I also appreciate it. Jason has a little treasure here. It's like, oh, we're joined by Shirless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
What are your thoughts on the new Taylor Swift uh, re-release album coming? Pray for it. Pray for John. Uh, <laughs> Isn't he in a music video too? Like it's been rumored that he's in a music video for the re-release. I hope so. I, I saw I that he was in that. England. With her. Like that yeah. was what like I saw was happening. Could you People imagine, if he, imagine if he does end up showing up in the Back to December music video? Wow. It's the the rumor is it's him and whoever the girl the little girl was from mean yeah. that they're gonna be in the same music video oh joey king yes yeah. yes that's the oh, that's, that's the rumor well, they were all yeah they were all together so huh oh but then that would make taylor not lautner the first ex-boyfriend to actually be in the song about him in the music video but yeah. the other thing is too is that like apparently Taylor Lautner's um, wife is also a Swifty, mm-hmm. and yeah. I like heard some interview that they talked about it, and apparently like she sat him down and was like, "Listen, I like Taylor Swift, and like your history doesn't matter. Like we're just gonna like Taylor Swift." And like I don't know what <laughs> I don't know where that's from, but I remember reading about it, and I thought it was so funny. <laughs> well, the same thing happened with so- uh, Sophie Turner of being like, "Yo, yeah, yeah. Jo- yeah. love you, Swifty." because like the song that was about <laughs> joe uh what was it um mr perfectly fine for mr perfectly yeah, fine yeah. it's multiple she, she's just but sitting yes. there sophie being like look i like this song and i'm like okay <laughs> stand true to her religion it's fine everyone it makes sense exactly yeah never never departing oh my what God. are what are our thoughts on her changing the lyrics to better <gasps> than revenge oh. i'm mm-hmm. <laughs> I keep seeing like things about it on Twitter and I'm just like, I've literally kept scrolling past it because I'm like, I'm not going to believe it until I listen to yeah. it. But okay. I also am like, I understand that she felt like she needed to do it just to, it's no different than when she changed I Can't Remember What the Song Is in debut. Um, oh God. Picture I can't Burns. Uh, yes, Picture Burns. I know exactly. Yeah. It's the... it's this, I think it's the same idea. She's picture changing it yeah. because realistically this album came out 13 years ago and she's like Things changing changed. she's changed she's a woman now compared to when she was 19 years old and angry yeah. so yeah i think it's a reflection of her and i'm like it's a nice thing to see but i also 13 year old juby is not into it she's mad <laughs> i i want both i want like one that will replace the original and her to just be like hey this is just me re-recording the same lyrics but here's like a better one that's more Can we have a from aware. the vault version with both of them yes mm-hmm. th- right that'd be so good <laughs> the if you the, if you didn't see the if you go onto like itunes and you start mm-hmm. typing in the lyrics yeah so if you type in like um she's not a saint it will still like come up with both of them so it will show up the new version and the old but if you type oh. in like she's better known for the things she does on the mattress just the old one shows up so it's not confirmed that it's changed but itunes when you search by lyrics it doesn't come up we'll know by tomorrow by the time this we podcast will. comes out we'll we will, we will. know we will. we'll know if she has the mattress sponsorship and like you know oh yeah she does on the andy shout out <laughs> casper i will say what i love about taylor swift has anybody here heard of the taylor swift effect no which one Uh, one. taylor swift is known for doing things that on paper don't have like an roi like a return of investment Mm -hmm. pretty much so like she'll go and perform at somebody's wedding right even though she's not making any money off of going to do that but what she's creating is integrity, right? People love yeah. her because of she is that type of person. And yeah. because she is that, she gets more people that rally behind her and want to support her because she's that way. And so, yeah, yeah it's, um, I think, for, like, from an industry perspective, like, you can take that and apply it to, like, sometimes if, you know, there's a bad customer experience, giving them that $10 off of something right might seem like it's not worth it but you might actually get them back as a result right so Mm -hmm. it's just smart to think like that um when me and jason were making our our list of invites because like we have a lot of invites so because i work i used to work for a print company we went we went through vendors and stuff and they give you 
a hundred, like I ordered a hundred, but they give you an extra hundred. They give you the, 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 whatever extra lot. So we have, we are sitting with invites to our fucking nose. And the first person we looked at each other who we were going to invite was Taylor Swift. It did it like, like, and we're like, we got to make this happen. Like, I think that'd be like, I did, we, maybe she sends flowers. Maybe she doesn't do anything. Maybe she fucking shows up and starts, you know, sings and sing like, lover for us as it's our first dance song. You don't know. And that's the right. thing with Taylor Swift. Like, you're right, Disney. Like, you never know what she's going to do. And that's what makes her awesome of being like, oh, my God. Like, what, like, what if she does show up? And imagine if she did. I would literally have two people fangirling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, I don't know if I'd be going home with Jason that night. I feel like he would faint and like couldn't do the song. <laughs> like you'd just be dancing. Yeah, I just like passed out and don't remember my wedding thing. And then you guys all party with Taylor. You should ask Taylor to be your first dance, not Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you and Taylor dance, and I'm just like, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, Stassi, you and Taylor. Oh, me and Taylor. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, me and Taylor have the first dance. You can watch. <laughs> all three of you just like <laughs> dancing hugging each other <laughs> i'll be like hi taylor you're really, really tall and really pretty i love you thank you for yeah. coming i think my fiance would have rather have this moment with you <laughs> yeah thank you take that away from him that's huh. that's my wedding present to you if taylor swift shows up to our wedding i will let you have the first dance with her what a, what a great <laughs> and honorable she will let you honorable. she would never she would be like no that's not happening i'm <laughs> getting up and performing you two she leaves she's like that's disgusting like why do you want to dance with me as here perform like yeah. do not touch the performers right. yeah and she'd write a song about like, it afterwards yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. this the song is called Dossie J yeah. um, <laughs> I'm excited for Hey Steven I love that song I know it's like such a like everybody loved that song back in the day but I, I don't know it's nostalgia for me I yeah loved that yeah. Is there that was one of my top five that I wanted to see live. That was like in my top five is Hey Steven. <laughs> um the, oh, I was gonna say Disney, you go ahead. No, I was gonna say I love it. Um, has any song come out from the vault that you're like, this is amazing, and I wish this was on the the album originally? I bet you think about me from Red is my favorite song she's ever written, and I listen to it literally oh. on repeat every day of my life. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I Juby, I could not agree more. That is the that uh, to me that is the only yeah, song. Same. I was like, this is a fucking yeah. amazing. How did this not make it? How? Yeah. Who told her the song was not good enough to go into the Red album? Because it's, yeah. like, it's just the them. best song. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would say Better Man and Babe as well. Yeah, okay. Red is full of them. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Besides Everything Message on in a bottle, bottle, like, don't come from yes. me. I did not like Message in a Bottle. No. It was too radio baby, in my personal opinion. I was just like, because that's like I, when that album came out, the only song I heard from that album was Message in a Bottle. And I was like, <laughs> that was the first one you told me you liked that I, album. I know. And it just, <laughs> Yeah, I definitely went down because all every day at work, because we listen to the same songs every day at work, and I would hear Message in a Bottle like 15 times a day. Yeah. I think it was her too far branching into pop for the Red Era, which yeah. is probably why it got cut, but it is a good like yeah. indicator it, of where she was going. I yeah. It yeah. feels like that song for me, I feel like honestly should have been on a Fearless Vault track. Like, yeah. for some weird reason, I always associate it with Fearless, and it's like, I don't know if that's just me completely messing with them. <laughs> but, oh, like, I think that's fair. Brain, it's where, it, it's like just where it belongs, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> it's with Love Story. Yeah, like, exactly. Very much so. Yes, yeah. agreed. It's that kind yeah. of pop to me. Uh, uh, Sierra, how about you? Do you have a song from the vault that you're just like, this is the best shit I've ever heard? Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, everybody, not the vault, but everybody wanted the all too well 10 minute version. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, Monic. Sadie, <laughs> it's so good. But I don't know. I just like them all. <laughs> or most of them, anyways. Okay. I don't really have any 
What about from Fearless? Like, were those good being vault songs or was there one that you wish would have gotten replaced? From Fearless? Just because we all mentioned like all of the red ones. So Fearless is tough because I kind of maybe sometimes are more in the mood for one of those, but like the, okay, there's, Today was a fairy tale, which was kind of just like a movie soundtrack one and not really different. Yeah. One. And the new, new, new vault ones were You All Over Me, which I think again is yeah. okay. Mr. Perfectly Fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were happy. Uh, yeah. That's when, that's when I've like kind of had. Like, yeah, I like that. This time. Yeah. Don't you? That's a pretty yeah. sweet one. And then Bye Bye Baby, which is like, okay. I, I don't yeah. think. Like when those ones came out, I don't think any of those really surpassed things. I I just like the regular bonus tracks off mm-hmm. of Fearless. Yeah. So I just kind of like just the Taylor's version of everything. But I think Red like was Red's probably the opposite, where I just like really like pretty much all of. I would say I could probably rank all of the Red ones probably higher than most of the fearless ones yeah 100 percent. oh yeah for sure how do we feel about that or not that's when uh if today was a movie getting removed from speak (laughs) now and put onto fearless as a vault track Hmm, i Mm -hmm. think that's the thing i think it makes sense because speak now was her written album she was the sole producer of it the sole songwriter and i don't know what the person's name was but obviously that was like it's almost like you're listening to the music and then there's like a bump in the road because you know that she didn't fully write that there was obviously somebody else and so I think her moving it to fearless Mm -hmm. made the most sense because it didn't belong on red and it doesn't belong on 1989 and it doesn't belong just by itself so I'm like it made sense being put on fearless to me yeah I agree yeah I like that that was a great answer (laughs) I've done my research, okay? <laughs> yeah, like, very much so. By the way, that in The Sims, that house that you made was like... Oh, the lover doll house? Yeah. Like, that was the, my pride and joy. <laughs> that's like the best thing I've ever seen in The Sims ever. I like watched that video over and over again. I'm pretty sure I'm like half the thousands of views that has. <laughs> I'll take it because on, um, on TikTok, I posted it the day that the Eras Tour started. Mm-hmm. And every single week, I get like an influx of like notifications from TikTok Aww. just from that one thing. And it's like, it's kind of fun. Every week I get to like follow the airs tour with my dollhouse. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Juby, but now you got to burn it down. Oh, I already did. You did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The immediate. So I watched like the live stream the night it happened. And I was literally sitting here and I'm like, I, I was like, fuck. What I literally just finished that same day. <laughs> I put my whole heart and soul into this build, and then all of a sudden she burned the fucking thing down, and I was so mad I'm about sure it. I'm sure that's how she feels too. Mm-hmm. I was like, but then I had to play test this thing and make all the fires go, and like, oh, it was a whole thing. But there is, there is a burnt version. You can get both versions. <laughs> yeah, I Amazing. love that so much. I do love that she is re-releasing though like considering everything that happened like to just do this is such an iconic boss ass move Mm -hmm. like so proud of her I don't know if this is true or not but was this Kelly Clarkson that gave her that idea to re-release like I think they had like a conversation back and forth on Twitter conversation yeah yeah Yeah. I don't don't know if like she gave her the idea or she she suggested it after like Taylor Swift was already like thinking about it Mm -hmm. okay I think she also like heavily supported it like I think it was like kind of like a it was like a ping pong thought right like they thought about it and then it kind of happened and then Kelly Clarkson heard about it and she was like oh yeah okay I support this oh okay cool yeah anyway I just love that she, she's doing that because it's such a just a, a great way to say fuck you <laughs> yeah yeah oh a hundred percent jason did you want to show um he ha- he has speak now up on the on his phone i'm so ready so speak I'm now so the from the vault tracks and i want to play a little game as we're gonna especially this being recorded we gotta guess before we hear any of them which of the songs are going to be the best from the from from tracks? There are six of them. The track 17 or the first one is Electric Touch. 
The next mm-hmm. one, track 18, is When Emma Falls in Love. Track 19 is I Can See You. Number 20 is Castles Crumbling. Mm-hmm. Track 21 is Foolish One. And track 22 is Timeless. I'm going to go with Timeless because I think just from that title, it sounds a bit like an Enchanted or Haunted, which are two that I can't wait for on the album. What do you guys think from those from uh. the tracks? ones i'm going castle to- crumbing <laughs> for sure i'm right there with you juvie yeah, that's- I'm like, crumbling. okay so a huge part of me like her merch drop came out today and she has a t-shirt for a speak now t-shirt with a castle on it and do you think i couldn't hit the buy button quick enough uh, <laughs> yeah i was just like you literally you when are you gonna design the house <laughs> i was like this is so on brand i need it so badly so when like like it's when she says like my castle crumbled overnight and now she has a song that is castles crumbling I'm sitting here and I'm like like baby I could build a castle and now it's all crumbling and it's like somehow this is all lined up really well and it's like my favorite sequence of like letters that she's or words that she's ever used so I don't know that's my top fave but okay a little bit behind honestly a little bit behind the one with fallout boy because I am so ready for like a rock punk Taylor Mm -hmm. moment yeah, like I, I have high hopes for that one. But Castle Crumbly's has yeah. Haley Williams from Paramore. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> like we love yeah. Fall Out Boy, but oh, um. I love both. Paramore was like, oh, we I could do a like podcast just talking about Paramore. Like yeah. I loved them. I love them so fucking much. You have no idea. And the generation oh. now doesn't even understand it. They're like, Olivia Rodriguez. I think that's how you do it. Stars like, no, 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 no. It was Paramore, baby. I mean, yeah. they might now because she was the opener the night that I went to the Eras tour. How was she? Phenomenal. Yeah. Like, oh. unreal. Oh. Unreal. I'm going to the one in Seattle. And um, there's a rumor that she is there that weekend like she's gonna be near Seattle that weekend and I'm just sitting here going please play please please for the love of god please (laughs) please please, something happen please I mean Cincinnati (laughs) got three uh secret songs so the way I cried and screamed and cried and screamed more that night (laughs) we love you Taylor (laughs) (laughs) yes how about you from the songs that Jason said any songs that stick out to you I was going to say Castle's Crumbling too. Yep, same. We all have to message each other tomorrow. And by messaging everybody, y'all message me. I'll message these two. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you get your friends. I'll get my friends and we can be friends. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Okay, that actually reminded me. So when I left my very abusive partner, oh. Um, as Sierra is the only person that's met him, obviously, on this call. Did you call. talk about him? Well, what did I literally say to you after we broke up? Never, ever getting back together? We're never, ever, ever getting <laughs> back together. Like, ever. Like, ever. Like, ever. ever. And I will make sure it never <laughs> happens. Um, baby, I'm marrying my Prince Charming. I was gonna say... <laughs> 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 yeah, same. <laughs> I will also forget the uh check it out. <laughs> it's not a video podcast. I'm flashing the rain. <laughs> yeah. Jenny you know has what? said the, the same song- thing to me with when we played the song. She's like, that is about that is literally about X. Like we are never getting back to this. there was never a moment like, after ever. we broke up. I was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're never getting <laughs> oh, like ever like ever. Outfit. <laughs> ever like um the song cruel summer like i feel like the part where she's like i'm drunk in the back of the car anyway i feel like i have a boyfriend that like fits every single one of those like little sentences like that fits that description in my mind perfectly <laughs> so was that song about calvin harris Oh, oh, I think Cruel Summer was about Joe. Was yeah. it about Joe? I'm pretty really? sure. Really? Yeah, I was Lover always is a breakup Harris. album. <laughs> Lover is a breakup album. 
lover through is and not through. A, it's literally a metaphor for being a breakup album and she called it lover because it's like the most lovely song on the entire album and then the rest of it is heartbreaking there is no way that is a love album yeah i think Next lover <laughs> lover was what was going to happen if the pandemic didn't happen yeah yeah unfortunately i was actually just like my friend who's like a really big swifty that lives in chicago we were like having a moment the other day where we're always like theorizing all these different things that happened and basically that was like my exact thought is lover would have been different had the pandemic i guess not actually happened but then like if you listen to like folklore and evermore they're so sad like they're yeah. so so sad and then at midnight which is like to me it's it's this bounce back it's like this 1989 yeah. bounce back type album mm-hmm. and it's like if you just compare it to all her other music like midnight's is definitely also a breakup album i feel like she's had a few breakup albums in the last couple years yeah. but i mean we don't know what happens behind closed doors right mm-hmm. so it's like i think this is literally her way of telling everybody i'm fine this is my relationship we're moving on we're on to new things like happy eras to her mm-hmm. <laughs> happy eras happy, happy eras, eras. <laughs> oh my god um alex do you have any questions you, any other questions you want to ask oh put me on the spot i usually ask a lot of questions i know sorry. you usually do <laughs> um do you think there will be an elvira remix for speak now <laughs> no <laughs> no I, mm-hmm. I could see I think, there being like something eventually, but like I feel like we might get more acoustic remixes. Mm-hmm. I would hope. I think so too. Do you think that the Speak Now track list is the actual Speak Now track list, or are we going to get a 3 a.m. Speak Now edition? I was, oh. I was thinking that. I would. I could see yeah. that, but she didn't do that with Red. I don't think did she. She didn't, but she also gave us 30 songs. Yeah, yes. that's fair. That's that's very fair. I don't I, I don't know. I, I saw something on I don't know if any of you guys are on Swift Talk. That's a dangerous rabbit hole to go down. <laughs> it um, definitely is. It's like it's like half of it's toxic and half of it's like real life kind of cool place to be. And it's like you have to like take everything with a grain of salt. And I saw one that somebody was talking about how like she keeps on talking about the number seven. And last week at one of the concerts she said some sort of sequence of numbers and immediately I go to my calculator and I'm like what are we calculating and I came up with something that was 708 and so like 0708 I'm thinking like maybe July 8th something happens and I was looking into it and then somebody was like well she keeps talking about seven and there's six vault tracks so what if she adds seven more vault tracks to have 13 total and I was like Okay, that sounds very Swifty like of her. So I'm like, I would follow that one. Anything. Yeah. There's just so many theories out there that I absolutely love. Like just how far we try to take the Easter eggs. It's my favorite thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So iconic. I was gonna the say only- Disney, that's us with like banner pub. Like, yeah, legit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where were any of you guys around? when she started putting easter eggs in like the cd lyrics the covers yeah yeah yep. like it was just capital letters where they yeah, shouldn't have been but... letters. Yep. for anybody like me that has no idea what you're talking about um <laughs> can you please elaborate by what that means i will be right back the cds are the thing that we used to listen to music on like you mean when there was two sticks to make fire <laughs> before ipads and ipods what? you had to put it in the machine <laughs> to play music what is this what is that what is that old machine That's anyways the in the cover, no, man. In the case, there would be the lyrics all the lyrics Oh my god, Alex. <laughs> that is not a CD. It is not a CD, but she still does it. I don't know if it will focus, but you can see that like randomly in the lyrics, there'll be yeah. random letters capitalized yes, and they'll yeah. spell out things. 
Yeah, it'll be like a whole. We'll go play it after the podcast. We'll go. We'll go check out some of the. Yeah, those were her original uh, Easter. Yeah, those were her before social media and everything. She was already doing this. So, like, what would they spell out? What would they? What would they say? Sentence. I can't think of one right now. It's been so long, but just like sentences and stuff, like clues about the song. I guess they were always like I think keywords from what I remember. I'm like, I think speak now or fear. One of them had one like on the back title tracks. There was like a whole bunch of letters that were just like bolded and highlighted. And I think they were literally just like a portion of the lyrics, but just like as like, I don't know, like a hidden message that people could just find. It was just things to look at that people were like, whoa, so cool. <laughs> yeah. Like she, like for Red, one of them for the lyrics for All Too Well spelled out maple lattes, which referred to all the photos she did with like Jake Gyllenhaal carrying Starbucks cups. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Like stuff like that. Okay. Okay. I feel like the odd one out. I had no idea. Now we've got like go nail here. polish and in music videos that show what the next album's going to be or something like that. Yeah. Do you ever think she's going to get tired of making Easter eggs? No. Of making Easter eggs? No. I no. Just, like, one day, something might not be. Any, like, I feel like, like how far life. can she take it, though? Before? I'm going to throw out the, uh, I bet you think about me, uh, breakaway thing to, like, where they're like, wait, mom always loves to put code somewhere. We <laughs> threw it. <laughs> So in one of her most recent music videos, she shouts out that <laughs> that her future, um, like children and daughter in laws and stuff, trying to get her money, will will try to read the the will. Oh yeah, and some it's some secret. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, yeah, and here. Sorry, yeah, what is yeah. it? That's hundred percent. That you think about me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, anti-hero, yeah, where her daughter-in-law kills her for the money. Mm-hmm. Well, she like in her dress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speak now. <laughs> Uh, she like to, to she literally bridge. wrote a song called Mastermind, in yeah. my opinion. And if you listen to the bridge of that song, to me it sounds like she grew up literally having these thoughts all her life, and now she's hit a point where she is like she's in the spotlight no matter what she does. She could walk yeah. across the street, and we're all there to watch her do it. Mm-hmm. And it's like at this point, I feel like if she stopped giving us Easter eggs, that would be like a big issue for a lot yeah, of people. That would. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a lot like, of is she okay? Is she, everything it's all a great war? <laughs> I think I think there's a lot of things too that like maybe weren't intentionally an Easter egg, but she could like pull from. I mean, she's got a whole team too. <laughs> like, I think there's a lot of things that she does have planned, like you know, the elevator buttons and bejeweled and everything else that happens there. But I I do think that there's also there's just so many things that happen in her life that's so online now just mm-hmm, by existing yeah. as Taylor Swift that you can draw from and point back to I've got I don't them. think we'll stop okay then what's your favorite easter egg then everybody that Taylor Swift has given us I Ooh. honestly really Wait. like the bejeweled like I know it's like really freaking new but, but like the bejeweled elevator was so cool because you could see I think was this after the era's tour was announced so we all knew it was coming she was in her era's era but Mm -hmm. like it was really neat to see it come full picture and that like music video itself had so many easter eggs so it was just like i don't know i think the but the elevator was quite fun um look what you made me do does a really good job of like so many easter eggs and stuff too like especially um like Kim Kardashian face things was really good. Yeah, I don't know. That was all that whole time that drama. I was just like eating popcorn, watching everything like the snake Twitter. Oh, yeah. Oh. So Always wild. Swifty. <laughs> Always too Swifty in that situation. I would uh, say an iconic one for me was the dollar bill and the look what you made me do. Yes. In that yeah. bathtub. Like, that was such a good one in stark contrast to her like the name of my album is in this music video and it's lover <laughs> <That one. laughs> oh. um sierra how about you do you got any that stick out to you um not i'm very tired so not that i can think of but i just appreciate that she knows that we know about them and that she includes them like that because she knows how much we enjoy them 
Mm -hmm. And she does a really good job with it. (laughs) Jason, how about you? Yeah, I love uh, an old school. Like, uh, I was a video gamer before I was a Swifty, just due to the fact that the the games came out first and some games did that in their game manual where you try to find some clues or hints or cheat codes or or things like that when you read through that so then when when it happened as just as we were talking about a few minutes ago with the um the album um lyrics right there in in the cover um having secret messages and stuff it's a little bit of a throwback to that and it was uh fun to see um and just the second one uh coming from the live concerts and i can really think of them a lot more in the reputation thing was like a lot of subtleties with again with those wristbands because i remember a couple times like the snake things and looking they're like there's a snake going around the stadium <laughs> or whatever and then like it would actually sometimes play into the next what? song or what's what's happening next and you're just being like oh my god it's like how Ugh. well can you think something out times that by affinity and you have taylor swift thinking of uh, certain parts of her production or albums or yeah show. she's playing chess and everybody else is playing checkers yeah, <laughs> 100%. yeah. Um, what is everybody's favorite taylor swift song currently like as of this is being filmed on july 6 2023 Ooh. currently currently like today's uh. Uh. that's so hard it's so I'm gonna, hard. I'm going to give a cop out and give two. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't, I'm going to give you two. The one. Sure. And clean. Really? Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just really started getting into clean because I was, when I was at my toxic job, I would listen to, uh, I would start with Red 1989 and Edward Reputation every day. And I, mm-hmm. I really, I was on the fence with clean at first, but Someone who's gone fought with sobriety. I get it. Basically, like you're cutting clean. Like you're just not from drugs, but like it's a good yeah. You're ending this relationship, right? Like I'm I'm finally clean, right? Um okay. Disney Sims, as you were like making the best eye, like trying to think of it. It can be any song, it can be any Taylor Swift song. Oh my goodness. Um I don't know. It's so hard. I really liked Better Than Revenge. Like, I feel like I, for a really long time, when I was younger, like, that was the song that I would play, like, over and over again for, like, my, you know, that boyfriend that I kept breaking on and off with. Mm-hmm. Not not the boyfriend. I've yeah. had a, I've had enough boy. I've had a Taylor Swift amount of boyfriends that enough of these songs ring true for insert name here. <laughs> Um, Sierra, how about you? You're also on mute, so we can't hear you. Oh, honey. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, currently. Currently. Man and you're on your own, kid. Okay. Ooh. Oh. It's such good ones. Cubie, how about you? Um, I'm kind of going with Alex on this one. Because I have, like, so I Bet You Think About Me is my top, probably my top favorite song that I would listen yeah. to day in and day out. Um, but I also have, like, I have a real soft spot because Soon You'll Get Better <sighs> is, like, I have a mom who's not doing very well. And so that one for me is, like, I listen to it and I actually have to skip it a lot. But I love it so much that I literally have to skip it unless it's the perfect time to listen to it. But between those two, I could probably listen to them forever. They'd be my top faves. Okay. Oh, I'm like list like hearing it in my head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jason, how about you? It's a a mellow time. I'll go to my again album of the the current time. I'll listen to like uh um this is me trying i think is one that i always go back to it's like very good song and whether it's the um the og or the long pond version i think both of them do stuff really awesome i've uh determined like 
probably through Taylor and then listening to other stuff and just like acoustic versions of things in general. I just love the piano and songs. I'm really learning. So mm -hmm. that really works well with an artist such as Taylor. Um, and just kind of a newer one that's like a lover extra bonus track uh all of the girls you've loved before it's a it's a it's a nice one i admittedly listen to a whole ton of taylor when stuff's out and then i kind of fill in the gaps in between sometimes with some other stuff so i haven't listened to it in a while knowing that like what my july will be filled with is just like ooh, start it again yeah yep. okay speak now okay start again with hopefully some more from the vault tracks uh added to that but yeah those are my uh was my top again too okay last but not least um seven okay. and august yeah. are my Ooh. two go-tos right now especially seven um i have a really stressful job i didn't know how stressful a job could be until this this one and i listen to seven when i'm really stressed out because i just for that second of remembering like what it was like to be seven and just being free and just literally being like let's go play pirates like let's go let's go do something and just kind of living in the moment but definitely august and, or and betty or champagne oh, pools, betty. Or, you know there's just so many i regret <laughs> picking my answer now like there's so there's many too, good ones there's there's too many good answers because i was sitting there yeah. i was like oh obviously all too well um oh and the 10 minute version sent me when it came out yes. like i mm -hmm. bawled bald like the oath part oh like stab me in the chest <laughs> right I um the first time I heard all too well I never really listened to albums I was Taylor Swift quick like like radio bait um I was on my way to get my nails done and I was listening to it and I just met Jason we're, we're very new in to our relationship and I was just I, I thinking back to a previous relationship like I can remember when things were okay in that relationship I remember when there were there were a good time there was there was good times in the beginning and you remember all too well all too well yeah he gave it but he threw it away right but now I got yeah. you. you're my you're my prize but at the time I remember feeling like I remember these feelings all too well he didn't he yeah. he threw me aside like yeah. six or seven times for somebody something better something new something shiny right so I was like yeah. oh my god I, I literally texted Sierra I'm being like I'm like I was like oh, let's see well and I found my period and I just love chocolate <laughs> I love you so much I love you so much <laughs> right like it was just like huh like the, I, I think that was the first time in a long time that a song grabbed a hold of me and made me feel something that wasn't mm -hmm. just like yo like I don't know like generic radio bait music that we hear every day on like it was just something that was like oh. and then when she performed at the Grammys that year in her gray dress and just it was just her and a piano to me that is a, a very out of all the Taylor Swift stuff I've seen every expensive music to me that is the, one of the best performances the moment created. if it's just her and a piano and that's all she needs she doesn't mm -hmm. need 20 dancers she doesn't need massive sets she just needs her a piano or her and a guitar and she's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Yeah. yeah oh my god we did not talk about teardrops on my guitar during this podcast once yet <laughs> <laughs> like we now that, are that, that, then the rest of the time yeah, talking about it because <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, that song have a... was such what sorry Maybe go ahead go ahead I was gonna say that song like also like in my teenage years was like oh anyway go on um <laughs> hi guys so um this was a, a couple jobs ago I listen to music while I'm at work I still do I um so I had my headphones in. I was working on a special project and forgot where I was I was like, I was singing at the top of my lungs at an office, screaming out like, <laughs> like it was not good. Or she was she was going home. Like it was just, it was not good. Uh, my manager just tapped me on the shoulder, being like, "Hey, uh, Jenny." I'm you're, sorry about Drew. Sorry about Drew. I'm really sorry about Drew. You're, you're at work. Um, 
we're gonna need you because <laughs> this was like a this was a place where like you were continuously on the phone so like people <laughs> did hear me on calls. <laughs> This needed to be filmed. This past needs week, to be I was on a commercial to, or on a TV show. I was listening. I was singing red, and I was like, "All." Oh, I was like, the headphones in, and I was like, "All too well." And my manager was like, "Are you okay?" No. No. <laughs> I'm fucking not okay. <laughs> you heard the Sarah Show song. You know you said. Do you guys like five ever? Minutes later, he's crying. Yeah. He's crying. I move on. You guys to like, wrap after that. So like, everyone, you're like, okay, if you're at work or you're in a grocery store or you're just existing, mm-hmm. and we have this like playlist we listen to on Spotify, and it's called the Dental Office Playlist, okay. and I refuse to listen to it because there's a lot of non-Taylor version songs on it, <laughs> and apparently in the office, I'm like the office Swifty where I work. And um, I will let everybody know the second Taylor Swift starts playing, like I'll stop talking to the client and I'll just be like, um, hold on, reputation's playing. <laughs> it's like one of those things. I'm like, do you guys ever do that when you're out like out in public? You just have like a Taylor moment. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. I'll be at the Good. store and be like, I don't need to buy something right now. She's on. <laughs> <laughs> I have so like- many in. I was like, I like the store. They're playing t- like that's how I judge a store for like it's good. I'll be like, glad we're here. We're shopping the right place. We gotta buy something. They yeah, know what's up. <laughs> I've had so many instances where I'm like just at the bar, and then like you know you're talking to somebody or doing something mid combo, and then I knew you were trouble, and it just like runs to the stage like <laughs> every time. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. Also, when I knew you were trouble came out, it seemed like so many bands were doing like a rock version of that song. And it was like so awesome. I loved it. I have to mention too, that's another one of my core memories. Going to the Red tour and I knew you were trouble played. I still remember the feeling of the stadium like shaking. <laughs> Just because of how loud everything and everyone was. Um, do you guys remember that video where like they made the goats? Um, yes. yes. Okay. 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 So when, um, okay. So I'm very excited about this. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> there is, um, with the new Sims horse ranch expansion, we're getting goats. And yes. I'm, going to make, I'm so excited. I'm literally going to try and make a video with the goats. And yes. the goats <laughs> and the barn. And I'm like, that's the only thing I'm thinking of when I saw the goats. So that's it. That's what my destiny is. Yo, I think it's going to be a race to who's going to do it first, Juby or Alex. I, <laughs> I, 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 will, I will not be the one to do it. I will be the first to like that. Because I do not have the patience to <laughs> But I will be the first to like it. That's like my whole goal. I'm like, forget building barns. I need to do the goat yelling video. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please. With the fainting goats. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be so perfect. Oh my God. Yes. Well, I think this is a perfect spot to cap it off. Our I love of Taylor. Question. If you're okay. One more question. One more. Sure. <laughs> How do you think yeah. the, the re-recordings are going to come out? What's the order? Since we're wrapping up the Speak Now podcast, what's the what's the order of the remaining ones? Oh, okay. Um, mm. I think she's got to end with her debut album. Yeah, I think 1989's Next and Reputation finished with Taylor Swift. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, That's I'm going to come out of the field here, but... I think we're going to get an announcement at the end of tour for Reputation. It'll come out in November. And then we're going to get a 1989 announcement probably around her birthday. Okay. That's like, those are like my thoughts, but I don't know. I just feel like Reputation's next. I have like this weird inkling, but I'm also, I do agree that Taylor Swift has to be the end one. That yes. It has to be full circle. Yeah. I I agree with that as, as much, but I don't know where I, I, I do feel like it feels right that 1989 would be launched around her birthday because mm-hmm. she's really into her birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sierra, how about you? Sorry, there's just a lot going on over here. That's okay. 
Um, I'm going to skip this question just so I can mute. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'll answer for her as her best friend. Um, <laughs> she, uh, she will <laughs> shake her head yes or no. Um, <laughs> as she's shaking her head, I would say probably Sierra, Sierra would go Reputation, 1989, and her, her final, al her debut album being her last album. She is not listening, so I'm going to assume that I was no. Nope. <laughs> Typical best friend. The the opposite of what you said. I know. That, except Taylor Swift is at the end. Okay, let me see. I can only there's like nine ways to get this. Okay, so are you gonna are you then? So I said reputation. So are you then 1989 reputation? Her debut her debut album last. Wait, are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you shook your head no so what is it no i thought you asked if i was listening and i said no <laughs> oh <laughs> guys welcome to my life <laughs> okay so what are I your final was a lot happening here i wasn't listening to what you were saying he was trying to control a dog what are your what are your final three now that we have you back Well, mm. see, I'm, I'm just, I'm so tired. I had all these thoughts and they're just not here. Okay, baby girl, it's three albums. You got this. <laughs> and then I'll send you off to bed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I definitely think Taylor Swift will, like the uh, debut will come out last. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and then 1989, and then Reputation. Okay. Okay. The only reason I said 1989 second is because of the legal drama going around it. So she has to take a little longer. Oh, yeah. okay. I was being, I was being strategic. I appreciate, I got one out of the three, correct? <laughs> and I think this is a perfect place to cap it off because- Sierra's got to go to bed. It's her birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's way past my, well, it's not way past, but I've been up for many, many hours and best friend knows how that can go. Oh my God. Yes. A hundred percent. Well, we were literally talking about for Vegas this week that like, we're going to bed at like 2 a.m. every morning. Like yeah. when we get to Vegas uh, that first night, like we're partying hard. But yeah, okay. I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> how you do it? It was how we got to do it. We, we got four days in Vegas. We're gonna make we're gonna make a hundred days out of four days. Well, I, everybody, I want to thank everybody for coming here today. Uh, this is usually the spot where I plug it off. Sierra, do you want to plug anything? Okay, <laughs> you're muted or quiet. No one can hear you. I'm quiet. I didn't say anything. My words. Your mouth was moving though, <laughs> but nothing was coming out. There you go. <laughs> Uh, she does have the best friend that she can promote that you should follow. Uh, Taylor of course. Swift. No, I that's mine. <laughs> you so she, she gave it to me. It's mine now. <laughs> Go listen to I'm my best rain. friend. It's just tree rain. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kids. Also, go listen to me and Sierra's podcast that we did last season. Um, it was literally called The Honeymooner. Like, our honeymoons test and we go through and if you thought this was witty this time imagine oh, yeah. when we're together it's even more witty yeah, same room. uh but thank you sarah for coming i love you love you jason love you. What, do you want, what do you want to plug floor is yours all righty so i will instead of just at my usual going uh uh I am going to start plugging soccer-related stuff. Now, obviously, it's not related to The Sims, but there could be some overlap, or someone might know a fan of the beautiful game, where if you follow me on threads at York Supporters, it just came out. So that's Y-O-R-K, York, and Supporters. It's all one word. Also on Instagram and Twitter, I guess I've been on there for a little bit longer, like a year plus, um, and it's just really following the local 
15. That's kind of not too far from here. Um, so pass that along to anyone you know that likes the sport. We are going to be starting up a podcast soon, which is exciting. I'm going to be asking her for lots of help on how to do this and how to get it online. So thank you for letting me plug that. And uh, shout out to Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's listening. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if Taylor Swift's going to listen to this, but maybe one day. We never know. That's the beauty of wedding. These, yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of these podcasts. Like, they're out there forever until I take, if, if, until, unless I decide to take them down, which I don't plan like, to. Like, this will be online if you search, like, Taylor Swift and podcasts and all this. Mm-hmm. It could be listened to. It could to. be listened to. If not by Taylor Swift, by fans of Taylor Swift, then you're all just exactly. great. Exactly. We love you. <laughs> and we're all connected. We are Borg. <laughs> we are Borg. <laughs> we, are, we are Swifty. Yeah. We scour resistance through. is futile. Yeah. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> it's fun on this side. <laughs> um, Juby, how about you? Where can we find you? Um, I'm fairly simple. You can find me anywhere, literally anywhere at Juby Sims. Um, also because I guess I probably should plug it. I also run something called the Sims 4 Builder Games, which is a cool little building competition that Stassi is a judge on. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's like a cool thing that if you're a builder and you want to up your skills and be judged by other people, (laughs) um, you could totally join that. Uh, We are all nice. It is a nice players club. But yeah, GB Sims and the Builder Games. That's about Uh it. I love that. I cannot wait to come back for the one that whenever you guys are ready to do the next season. I'm here forever as a lifetime guest. (laughs) It's okay. Your name is on the roster and it's literally not coming off. So you're stuck with me. (laughs) You're stuck with me forever. Um, But thank you for coming back here today. Miss Disney Sims, where can we find you? I am at the Disney Sims and at Towny Tales on Instagram and a thread as of like an hour ago when you guys told me to join it so I'm gonna get off this and look at what thread is because I have no idea but I joined it um and TikTok as well but I'm not as on there as much so yeah Instagram Simstagram follow me Paula I like that go follow everybody on thread because this is like literally coming out as thread still like what's thread uh thread is so wild I literally this morning I was on my bus and I was like what the fuck is thread and I look at it, I was like, oh, cool. I, dro- I had like 200 followers in like an hour. I was like, yeah, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Don't know how I did that, but uh, I'll go with that. And I think like before this, I think I was at like 320 or something like that. I'm like, okay, sure. 320 followers in a span of 12 hours. Maybe I'll be take- like number one on the whole platform. I'm uh, breaching. No, Jay- like, everyone's starting like now. I know because like, like right? little Simsy only has like four thousand followers. That's why like I was starting to met like try to get a hold of bigger people, being like, "Who the fuck's this Stassi person?" This is the best chance of for me being able to be like, "Who is this?" And there are people who have never heard of this podcast today. It's like you have a podcast, holy shit, and just downloaded everything. And it happened cool. five or six times today. So I was like, I was like. I- I'll take new listeners. Shout out new listeners. Shout out new listeners. Like I Shout out new listeners. Shout out new listeners. If you're listening to it, because I'm literally plugging this on thread as soon as I can, being like, hi, hey, it's my dad. <laughs> anyway, like Alex, go to go join. Th- I literally texted you. I was like, you're like the only one not on thread so far. <laughs> it's me. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alex, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me at the awful gamer on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch, and I guess Threads because I guess I'm getting Threads after this. So, uh, <laughs> what about your the Gmail? Awful... <laughs> you know what? You can also find me at Gmail at the awful gamer. Um, and if you're at all interested in Taylor Swift and The Sims, I created the Midnight's Legacy Challenge, which is a challenge in The Sims Four based off of Taylor Swift's album Midnight's which the link will be below for you to go check out that challenge. Um, I just appreciate every time you're on here now, I have to get, you have to plug your email. It was an iconic moment and I can't even claim it as mine. And now, and now, and now it's just forever. (laughs) I I went back and found the podcast that that happened on and I launched my face and I didn't know what to do. (laughs) It was, it was so good. It was so good. For any context, 
as I, for everybody, I let plug. I like I basically he, I hold you here captive for an hour so I can scream at you of like how bad The Sims is, and then I let you plug your things. And the first person was like, "Yeah, here's my email," and I didn't know what to say or do because no one has ever plugged an email before. <laughs> um, but yes, I appreciate it. Alex did it on the season finale podcast of just being like what was your most cringy moment and i i didn't even think of the email one <laughs> it, it wasn't cringy it was just out there because it, okay, I, I, it, it is it is iconic and like me quoting that won't come out for like six months but I still <laughs> <laughs> you have already been on like 25 times before this <laughs> Oh my god. Well, anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for coming here today. Um, if you guys like what I do, please check me out on Patreon. Uh, I do have a Patreon page. I super appreciate any support I get. Uh, we also had a sponsor today. Um, hasn't physically come yet, so I can't really show you guys what it is. Um, but I got sponsored by uh Spin Master. They are a toy company in Canada. Uh, they gave me uh the Gabby's Dreamhouse doll collection for uh the summer summer collection. Um, it is found anywhere you can buy toys in Canada, which is Toys R Us, uh, Walmart, um, really anywhere. It's literally the two places I can think of at the second that have toys because I don't actually have the material where we can find it yet. But uh, please, if you're in Canada and you have a small child and they're like, you know what? I like toys and I like toys. Please go check out um Gabby's uh, dream house the link will be below uh, where you are, are able to find it um, as well uh, please 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 go check out everybody here uh, go check out uh, the reaper I play Amy um, please go check out Davenport uh, the new season drops really soon I also play Amy in that I would have a special cameo spot um, please go check out Rose Chronicles if you like a story any like a, a young youth romance story I'm full out saying somebody asked me this week, like what's Rose, like what's Rose Chronicles like it's a fucking love story um, so please if also if you like Taylor Swift Taylor Swift is featured it's all over <laughs> used in that story it's very heavily used not even full easter eggs it's just there um so please go check that out uh, uh please check out the other episodes in this series of real life with Stassi. this is now the 12th episode being filmed so please 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 go check out everybody uh all the other episodes uh please go check out the main series as well uh for anybody who's listening i love that you really want to be interviewed uh for a sim podcast we that is season three. Um, if you do want to be on for right now, it is real life Lestasi, um, where we talk every real life topic, uh, such as Barbies. If you guys want to talk about Barbies, that's being filmed next yeah. week. And along, we're also talking about Harry Potter at the um next Saturday as well. So if you would like to join any of these podcasts or any ideas, uh, no ideas too wild. This whole point of this podcast is to educate everyone around us of what real life is and talking about sensitive topics to make them no longer sensitive and having those hard conversations that people are scared to have so please go check out every please, please, please go check that out please go check out the awful gamer the disney sims juby um cr ran she goes to bed at 7 30 so she's, uh, she's tired but uh please uh if you want to go check out any anything more about her uh like i said we did a podcast together last year where we did the honeymoon test and if you thought i couldn't get her right this time y'all should see that <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> but we've been best friends for like 10 years so she, she's like my sister just as Disney Sims is my sister and as everybody is so is Juby and so is Alex you guys are my sisters <laughs> I'll take it <laughs> the traveling podcast <laughs> Sim soulmates Sim soulmates um well everybody it has been an absolute pleasure please go check out everyone here please go check out the new taylor swift album that also comes out today go take a listen message one of us who's on this podcast we want to hear what was your thoughts what's your favorite song did it live up to the hype how was dear john i want to hear the dear john taylor version i'll be crying on the bus ride tomorrow morning be like <laughs> what are emails with your thoughts <laughs> <laughs> jubysims at gmail.com i'm open <laughs> yes <laughs> uh saucy j unplugged at gmail.com <laughs> princess courtney no i'm just kidding no. <laughs> <laughs> at msn.com 
I uh, like turtles at Addison. AOL. <laughs> Addison, it's basically Addison on MSN. Yeah, add me on MSN. Like, on my don't MSN. email me. I will not answer you. <laughs> well, everyone, have a great rest of your night. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.